I see a few more. One down here, one at the bottom, and then a large mess in this coat area. Let's wipe out the simple ones first. Smudge tool, push. Follow the curve of the fabric, come on down, push. And that gets filled in quite nicely. Troublesome spot here, peeling brush. Option click, paint that in a little, and it tries to blend. Option click, I'll do a little clone, gently fill that in. In some cases you'll heal, some cases you'll clone, trying to follow the curve of the fabric. Got our tough area up here, oops, undo, hold on the space bar and move. Let's zoom in a little tighter. Grab my smudge tool, push those seams together, following the curve of the fabric. There we are. It's working pretty well. Get this in here. Push that pixel across to fill in the gap. There we go. Gentle circular strokes to help hide that. There we go. Push. It's like it's wet paint. This is the trickiest area here, filling this in. A little bit of very careful cloning with a very small brush will allow me to get that. Option click, follow up. And I'm just cloning in some of that missing area. Option click, follow this line up. And you see how you could pretty quickly steal from one area and get your gaps taken care of. Almost there. Get a little bit of this tie. There we go. And if you ever hit a particularly nasty spot, don't be afraid to defocus the area a little bit to draw attention away. I'll grab my blur tool and I could soften that up a little. If necessary, lower the strength to a smaller number so you can apply a more gentle blur. That's solved. All I have left is this one nasty seam. This is definitely a candidate for either the healing brush or the patch tool. I'm going to take advantage of the patch tool here, which has been greatly improved in Photoshop CS. I'm going to marquee around the area that I'd like to sample from, grab my patch tool, which is, which is nested below the healing brush, and I'm going to say, please patch the destination. I can now click and drag, pulling that over, and when I release, it blends. If you want with the patch tool, you can also use it as a freehand tool to select an area, grab, release. And it works much like the healing brush except it allows you to drag and drop your healing areas. Lasso around the area, pull it down, release. And at that point, I have taken care of my major problems. I could finesse it through here a little bit if I want, easily grabbing a small spot, pulling it down, and blending those together. Photoshop does a pretty nice job of smoothing out those minor blemishes. Looking at the image now, I'm just going to look for minor problems, any little spots that leap out at me. I see that we have a small blemish down here on the pants leg that can be easily taken care of with the smudge tool. Gently push those together and solve my issue. If I need to, I may say push the light pixels to cover up a dark blemish. And we just move through looking for any problems that jump out at us. Smudging with the lighten mode to cover up dark pixels or with the darken mode to pick up any light flecks. 
and we just drag through looking for any problems that we might spot. Little tiny problem here on the chin. Healing brush, option click, click, blended and solved. At this point, I'm pretty much set to go. The image is very washed out, but that can be easily fixed. I'll go ahead and sample the brown here so I can use that later on to reintroduce the duotone effect. I'm not going to run a contrast adjustment, however, now. I'm going to desaturate the image. The shortcut to desaturate is Shift Command U or Shift Control U. You can now invoke a levels adjustment with the Command L command or by adding an adjustment layer. Pull the black point in to the outside edge of the histogram and pull the white point in to the outside edge as well. You can now move the middle slider to adjust exposure. When satisfied, click OK. We now need to add the duotone effect back. In this case, it's a sepia tone, so I will add a hue saturation adjustment layer and click the colorize button. We can now roll the hue until it is the proper tint. Adjust the saturation, adjust the lightness, and when satisfied, click OK. At any point in time, you can double click on the hue saturation adjustment layer and refine the duotone effect. This enables you to take an image from severely damaged to completely repaired, and as you've witnessed, the time investment is not as bad as you might have thought.